This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. We're now going to go through and calculate the growth rate. Uh, there's two ways to go through and calculate the growth rate, and the first of which we're going to look at is the historic growth rate. So essentially what we're doing is we're looking at the dividend growth in the past and assume that what has happened in the past is going to continue into the future. Okay, so it's a very crude approximation of the future growth rate. Okay, uh, you've got the formula there within the notes. Uh, I'll just show you where that formula comes from. Because what you've got there is that if you say, look, let's just say we have a dividend which was N years ago. So let's just say three years ago. And that dividend has grown by one, by two, by three years worth of growth. So let's just say that we will have multiplied it by one plus G, by one plus G, by one plus G, which will get us to our dividend today. So if we look at what happened N years ago, so here three years ago, it will have grown from what it was three years ago by multiplying by one plus G, by one plus G, by one plus G to get to D zero. Uh, if you want to put that into a formula, then your dividend D0 today is equal to the dividend N years ago multiplied by 1 plus G to the power of N, isn't it? And what we're trying to work out in that formula is G, the growth rate. So if you wanted to, and again, you don't have to, you just need to remember the formula. If you do D0 divided by DN, I'll drop the years ago and we'll just call it DN. That's going to be equal to 1 plus G to the power of N. If you go through that and rearrange it further and take the nth root of both sides. It's the nth root of D0 divided by dn is equal to 1 plus g. If that's the case, then what we have is that g is equal to the nth root of d0 divided by dn and subtract 1. Okay, So that's the formula that you will need come the exam. Okay. You take the nth root of d0 divided by dn, subtract 1. Uh, it's not a difficult formula to remember. The uh, difficult aspect is to try and go through there and put the numbers actually in your calculator. You'll need a scientific or a scientific calculator in the exam to work it through. And we'll show you in the following examples how to plug the numbers into the formula and how to go through there and use your calculator. Okay. OK, so let's go through and have a look at the example called Wilson that's there within the notes. Uh, two parts to it, as you can see. Uh, first bit, it asks you to work out the rate of growth in dividends. So that's asking us to work out G. And then it wants us to work out the cost of equity, isn't it? KE. So when we're looking at the growth rate, it may tell you specifically within the question how to calculate it or you may have to deduce it from the information that's given. Uh, here, obviously, we know we have to work out the historic growth rate because that's the only way that we've looked at calculating the growth, but there could be more than one way within the exam. So here, what you've got is that it says, Wilson paid a dividend. Is it of 25 cents? And is that the five years ago? So from there, you can see that N is equal to five, isn't it? And then you have there, is it your dividend five years ago? Okay. Uh, it says the current dividend is there as 42 cents. So that there is D0, isn't it? Okay. So to go through that, we have now enough information, don't we, to work out the growth rate. So what we've got to work out the growth rate, it's the nth root. So here n is 5, whereby we then take the dividend today, which is 42 cents, 
divided by our dividend five years ago, which is 25 cents. So again, I've kept cents on the top and cents on the bottom. You could do dollars top, dollars bottom. It's entirely up to you. Once you've worked out the fifth root of that figure, you then go through and subtract one. And I think that should give you, is it a growth rate? Is it of 10.93%? Okay, so that, that should be your answer. Okay. Uh, have you had a go at putting that into your calculator? It might be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, on your scientific calculator, I find the best way to do it is to do that first. So on your calculator, do 42 divided by 25. So here's my calculator. If I do 42 divided by 25, I think you get, is it 1.68? The bit that students then struggle with is working out that second bit to do with, is it the fifth root? Okay. Uh, so what are you looking at on your calculator it's normally a second function button. So you've got a button there. Uh, and what you've got is mine. The first function is X with a little box. And then you should find that the second function on that, uh, usually the second function, again, on mine, uh, is the, the root button. It has a shaded inbox and a non-shaded inbox. Okay, so yeah, what you would need to go through and do there is key in five. Uh, you then need to second function uh, the button that you have there. And then I will go through and use my answer, close off the brackets. And once you've done that, it should give you, is it 1.10933? Okay, and then once you've done that, the third thing that you should then go through and do is subtract one and that will give you 0 0.1093328086 which again if you multiply by 100 percent is 10.93 okay uh, keep practicing on the calculator and make sure the, that's the hardest bit isn't it being able to work out the growth rate okay so 10.93 based upon that what we can then go through and do is we can then work out the cost of equity uh, we have the growth rate don't we uh, we have the dividend today d0 and you've got the is it the price is it x div is it there a 5.50 so what we're going to do is we're going to use our growth rate is it of 10.93 so remember that will now need to be won't it 0 0.1093 within our calculations and what we can go through and do is we can substitute all of that in so to work out the cost of equity, we have the dividend today, which was 42 cents, so 0.42 dollars. The X div share price was given to us at 5.50. We then multiply that by one plus the growth rate, so 0.1093, and then we add on 0.10. 93. Uh, tap that into your calculator. Cost of equity, bit of rounding here or there, is there at 19.4%. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's as difficult as what it could get using the historic growth rate to calculate the cost of equity. Uh, what I would like you to go through and do now uh, is before we start the next example, have a go at that next example yourself and see how you get on. Good luck. So let's go through and have a look at the example styles. It brings together uh, calculating the cost of equity with a bit of historic growth. And also I think there's a bit of an adjustment, isn't there, if you've already done the example, to work out the price X div, okay? Uh, so again, the question wants us to go through there, doesn't it, and calculate, is it the cost of equity? So KE. Uh, and note it doesn't specifically say how to calculate the growth rate. You have to deduce from the question based on the information given. So again, what we've got is we have a dividend of 10 cents, which was five years ago. 
and then what you have there is your current dividend so is that b0 is there as 16 cents so you're given the dividend today you're given the dividend five years ago so therefore we could use the historic growth rate formula uh, we're also given the share price the key bit that you've got about the share price however is that you have p0 come div don't we and from that we need to work out the x div price so to go through there and work out the x div price it's the two dollars 36 less the 16 cents isn't it okay so uh what we've got is to put the pieces of the jigsaw together uh the growth rate that you've got is the fifth root isn't it of 16 divided by 10 subtract 1 okay uh, so I think if you put that onto your calculator that gives you is it 9.86 percent okay again double check how you do it remember the easiest way to do it is to do the 16 divided by the 10 first and then put in five second function of the root button uh, and then use your answer close off the brackets and press equals and then take your answer that you have then and subtract one okay uh, so that gives me 9.86 uh, to go through there and then work out k e we take d naught which is there as 16 cents we multiply by one plus the growth rate and we divide it by the price x div isn't it so the cum div price is 236 from which we need to deduct the current dividend of 16 cents once you have got that we then need to go through and add on the growth rate at 0 0.0986 isn't it so that when you work out what ke is equal to KE is equal to, if you tap it onto your calculator, is that 17.84%. Okay, so pretty exam standard there in terms of what you could be expected to do. Okay, work the example through again, particularly pay attention to calculating that growth rate figure. Make sure that you're happy with that. Uh, and if you've got any questions, you know where to find us. We're on the Ask the Tutor forum. So fire away with any questions that you may have.